I mean, if that doesn't make you happy in the morning, I don't no. know what does. You should just quit right now. No. Mariska Hargitay has three amazing kids, but what many people don't know is that she and her husband actually adopted two of them. They never really talk about this all that much, but what Mariska has said about the adoption process is pretty crazy. Mariska married her husband, Peter Herman, all the way back in 2004 after dating for two years, and it wasn't long before they welcomed their first child together, August and June 2006. While the new baby was exciting for the two of them, it was also a pretty difficult time for Mariska since she actually suffered from gestational diabetes. While talking to Self Magazine in 2007, after her son was born, she said that she used to eat in order to cope with the 15-hour workdays on the set of Law & Order SVU. She admitted that during her pregnancy, she felt completely overwhelmed by a constant lack of energy and fear that she might not be able to make it through the day. So she said that all she could do to survive was eat and hope that it would give her enough energy to push through the day. She also said that it was her first time ever being pregnant and she said that she needed to eat more food to make sure the baby had enough of every food group. While that's not necessarily true, since you can take vitamins to help make sure your baby has the right nutrients, she was clearly struggling as a brand new parent. But all this ultimately made things worse as she went throughout her pregnancy. And by the end of it, she said that she wasn't even able to move around anymore. And when giving birth to her son, it had to be done through an emergency C-section delivery. The whole thing was kind of traumatic in a lot of ways and it played a big part in her and Peter's decision to later adopt. When talking about their family years later, Mariska said that she was only 42 when she gave birth to her son August and they were concerned that she might not be able to have more children. The pregnancy was already so difficult for her and pregnancies always become more and more dangerous the older you get. She also said that she always believed she and Peter would one day adopt children and she felt like it was always a part of their plan. And after years of being an only child, August supposedly came home one day from a play date and said that he wanted to have a little sister. What he didn't know though was that Mariska and Peter had already been thinking about it. And with August expressing that he wanted it too, they moved forward with an adoption lawyer. But the adoption process wasn't exactly easy easy, and Mariska even admitted that building her family was sometimes even heartbreaking. When they began the process, they went through all the inspections to start getting the ball rolling, but they were having a difficult time connecting with a birth mother and had a failed attempt right before meeting another woman close to New York City. They moved forward with the adoption plan with a second woman and were even present in the delivery room when she gave birth. But after the baby was born, Mariska and Peter were the child's new parents for only about two days, until the mother decided she wanted the baby back. Mariska said that the whole whole thing was nothing short of devastating and that it was one of the happiest and worst moments ever. In many ways, she felt so deeply connected to that child and had already made a loving bond with them in the days following the birth. But at the same time, she knew that it was the right decision for the mother to keep her child if she really wanted to. So she was happy for the mother, but also so incredibly heartbroken at the same time. Mariska said that she was actually still in contact with the mother, even though she never met the baby again, since she feels forever connected to her. Luckily though, that wasn't the end of their journey as they were connected with another woman who ultimately gave birth to their daughter, Amaya Josephine, in 2011. Originally, they were told that the baby was going to be a boy, but were pleasantly surprised to find out that they were actually having a little girl. For the birth of Amaya, Mariska was once again in the delivery room and said that she basically pulled her out. And right after Amaya was born, Mariska said that she hugged the birth mother for a long time and said that it was one of the most meaningful and profound moments of her life. After the birth of their daughter, it was Mariska and Peter's plan to wait about 18 months or so before going through the adoption process once again again, but the world had different plans for their family. Just months after adopting Amaya, they received a call that said there was a premature baby waiting for adoption. So their son August was also expressing how much he wanted a little brother. So it all just seemed kind of perfect. Mariska said that the whole thing was such an obvious no-brainer and she's never been able to make such a big decision so quickly before in her life. They named the baby Andrew Nichols and adopted him also in 2011. Andrew still struggled with health issues following his adoption and the family even hired a private nurse to live with them. But despite these bumps in the road, Mariska said that she wouldn't have it any other way. As her children continue to grow up, Mariska has spoken out about what it's like to be a mom and where they stand today. While talking with people in 2018, she said that her kids make her a better parent and a better person because they really teach her to listen. She also said that her family is perfect in her eyes and together they're just a crazy chaotic and happy family unit. And she's never known anything more right. Although she didn't go into too much detail about her kids' lives aside from their adoption and birth stories, she did say that their house is full of laughter and 
In a 2021 interview with Glamour, she said that she's very different from her SVU character and really likes to laugh and make her kids laugh. She said that comedy is a pretty big currency in their household and they're always cracking jokes and having fun. Mariska also said that being a mother of three children is difficult because each one is so different and they respond to different things. She said that her oldest August is really into swimming and her daughter Amaya isn't nearly as sporty and prefers to spend her time around music and always just starts dancing when music starts to play. But at the end of the day, she and her husband always wanted a big happy family and that's exactly what they got. When talking about what it's like to adopt, Mariska said that she wasn't going to lie and she admitted that there were some really horrible moments. She said that adoption is definitely not for the faint of heart, but despite the bumpy ride, the whole thing was worth the fight. But anyway, think about all this. Did you know that Mariska waited until she was in her late 40s to have her first kid? And what do you think about her adoption stories? Let me know in the comments below.